<laughs> They're twins. I don't know why people say we look alike. I don't think we look alike. You and Sophie do look alike. They say um, all dogs look like their owners. Well, then we should get you a Mastiff. I look like a Mastiff? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Look up a picture of a Mastiff, you'll see what I mean. Oh. <laughs> it's a really pretty day. It's just pretty um, hot. Pretty, but it's pretty hot. But it sounds like you. Was that, <laughs> are you hitting on me or are you dissing me? I can't tell. You're pretty, but pretty hot. Um, yeah. So <laughs> this is normally what I wear. When we come out walking in public, um, I'll wear uh, kind of like a stretchy um, jersey kind of skirt. Now, if I'm working out at the house where it's a little bit more private, um, I'll wear something um, a little bit more. <laughs> Sylvie, you're distracting. I'll wear something a little bit different, but out here. And then I've got a bunch of these um, athletic shirts, and they're real breathable. So this is today's ensemble. These shoes are actually runners, and they're not very good for hiking, but um, they're kind of all I have right now. But they're Pumas, and I like all the bright colors and stuff, so let's go. This is what I'm talking about. You're killing my pace. I'm On my little map, it's gonna have a big dip right here. <laughs> I am so sorry that your precious pace is being thrown off because I'm a little slow. These are not hiking shoes. You know, it's funny when I started looking into um, into shoes. Let me see if I can't turn this around. There we go. When I started looking into shoes was as I started working out, <laughs> um, everybody was making a big deal out of runner shoes and trainer shoes and hiking shoes. And I thought, okay, what's the big deal? Like one shoe should be able to do it all. <laughs> I was wrong. I learned my shoes are runner shoes and they feel better when I'm running. When I'm out just walking, they just start to wear on you. <laughs> so yeah, lesson learned. <laughs> yeah, that's scary to stumble upon out on the hiking trail. Oh no. Um, that doesn't mean that'll stop him. Sophie. What's up, pal? I am so scared right now. Don't, oh God, oh God, oh God. Jesus help me. Jesus help me. Jesus keep me safe as I run away. From the longhorn cow. Oh my goodness. That's a bull. Oh. That was so scary. I don't want to walk this trail anymore next to the field. I should have known when it's completely protected by barbed wire and an electric fence. Should have known something was back there. I don't even think this is a trail. I think this is somebody's driveway. I'm tired of following you around in random places in the woods. Again. Oh, there's deer up there. Oh, did you see them? Oh, they were inside the fence. How'd they get through if, it, if it's electrical and barbed wire? Man, this is the trail to be on. Vicious killer cows and wild deer. My word. What is this? Oh my, that's crazy. Caution, two-way traffic. Well, we know it's for bikers, but Let's do it! Whoa, 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 falling, falling, falling! <laughs> Fell. <laughs> Fell. <laughs> oh, okay. That's gonna make for a great video. So I did fall, but I'm okay. Um, there comes a point where I uh, can't jog anymore. And I just kind of stop and enjoy the walk. But Josh keeps going. So the trails, they kind of go up and loop around, but what I do is I just, I just cut over. And, uh, and hey man, now he's over there. That's the thing with these trails. They kind of go everywhere and I just, look, he's just leaving me. <laughs> I can't tell like how they zigzag and how they come around. Maybe if I just stand still, he'll, he'll loop around. Are you coming back this way? 
he just leaves me alone in the woods, abandoned. It's not like you can just follow follow the trail. It's like a mind game in here. The trails, they just loop. They loop around and they go back and forth and they zigzag. And you just don't know which way to go. See, I just stood here and I just stood here and waited. And I see Josh coming back this way because that's how these trails are. These trails are deceiving. You just never know where they're gonna take you. This is like life. Which path are you gonna take? And you think that you're walking on the same path as your friends, and your friend may be walking the right way, but you're just gonna go over here and walk this path, but you don't even know that over time they just start separating, and then before you know it, you're way out there, and yeah. This is me trying to be spiritual. But you're alive and have a soul. And it takes someone to come around to show you how. She's a tear in my heart. She's a tear in my heart. Then I've had the band. This radio, okay. Here we go. You got to taste the music, is your face. And it takes someone to come around to show you how. She's a tear in my heart. She's a tear in my heart. I'm on fire. She's a tear in my heart. Then I've got the band. This is 21 Pilots, right? C. Yep. They are like a Christian punky group. And they're their own thing. Yeah, they're their own genre, but they're pretty cool. Genre? Genre. Genre? Yeah, genre. It's a genre. Genre? John. No, it was invented by a guy, a guy named John, and it's called Genre. Put that out there for the whole world to hear. I guess it's okay. And hey, you shouldn't be recording me. I'm like naked. What do you mean you're naked? My shirt is so soaked, I'm see-through. Evil, don't look at his see-through shirt. He's gross. Okay, I always mess up the course. Let me see if I can do it. Or the bridge. Car I drove the whole time. But that's okay, I'll just avoid the hole so you sleep fine. I'm driving here, I sit, cursing my government for not using my taxes to fill holes with more cement. In an interview I watched with him, he's like, okay, everybody, I know that they don't fill holes, they don't fill holes with cement, they fill it with asphalt. But that didn't rhyme with what I was trying to say. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Did you have fun, Sophie? Did you have fun? Oh, I know you had fun. So if you like my nasty little fall, I didn't get hurt, but that was pretty funny. And I'm glad that I finally learned my lesson and put protective casing on my phone because I used to just not have anything on it. And I shattered my screen when we went to Disney World and I was like, okay, once I got it fixed, it's like super, super protected now. So I'm glad. Cause that was kind of a, uh, that could have been bad for my phone. <laughs> Man, Disney was a really expensive trip. It was. In more ways than one. Yep. It was expensive all around.